Are you Alex's mother? Yes, I'm Alex's mother. Will she be on for you? Yeah. Alice's body is fully damaged, but her brain is totally fine. Well, we have got a body which was being donated, whose body is perfectly fine, but her brain is damaged. So we will be doing brain transplantation. It's okay. Do whatever you want, but keep bring my doctor and <laughs> Okay, okay. We'll try our best. Thank you, doctor. Be strong. <laughs> Hey Alice, how do you feel? Are you feeling better? Mrs. Sharon, it's on TV again. Turn it off, it's time for birthday cake. I don't want you to be worried about the Jared's girls. My lawyer says they don't have legal aid to stand on. Is that a family? I don't even know that. Kill? Wow, that's so weird. That's not my name. Train those TV people, they protect our privacy by not showing what you look like. That makes sense. The Jared probably gave them permission. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Everyone at school knows. The whole world knows. Those Jareds, if we start having reporters all over the lawn again. Hey, come on, cake time. I made it from scratch. Alice's favorite chocolate with mocha cream. Awesome, Mom. You blow first. You're the oldest one. By the two minutes. And anyway, I'm not the oldest anymore. What do you mean? You might be older than me with a new body. You might be old enough to drive for all we know. Mom, if my body is 16, does that mean I can get my license? For me, this, you can barely walk six months ago. <laughs> Jenny. Yeah, I still doesn't like the chocolate with the mocha cream. No, it's 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 good. No, no, I'm not hungry. Jeez, Jenny, why are you angry at me for not liking a piece of cake? I can't help it! Who is angry? I have different teaspoons now and they are sending different messages to my brain. It says this cake tastes gross. Sorry mom. Okay, you are always saying that you are still you. Because you have the same brain but your whole personality is your head. Where else would it be? I don't know where part of yourself lived. Maybe it's a big toe. Can you? People have their big toes cut and they are still dancing. People have heart transplants and they are still dancing. Right! Maybe not. Maybe they are a little bit different but they just don't notice. You are not a different. You are a modern person and you never see your friend. You hang out with the immobile smith and those notes. Now you are going out with a cheerleading for goodness sake. 
Sometimes, I don't know. Sometimes, I think my sister is dead. You look okay before. Sorry, I didn't mean. You're pretty. I can see that now, but I never think I was. You know, my old body used to be much less than this body, but I still wouldn't be able to walk around naked in it. No one ever told me that this body is ugly. For all I know is that it never had this before. I haven't had one yet. I feel like I could do anything in this body. Let me read your diary. Not now. You can't read my diary. You can read mine. I know what your diary says. Oh, I found a new mold today on my new body. Come on. What big cigarettes are in there? We have always read each other's diaries. I have to get to know you better. Yeah, right. 14 years wasn't enough. You were in the hospital a long time. That's all I mean. Jenny, we're still doing. I have the same memories. Camp Osaka, moving to Toronto. Whatever, you can't read mine. Gil, I'm sorry. I mean, Alice, do you know me? I saw you on TV. Ah, uh, yes. You should have an umbrella. This one's a ridiculous thing. My wife's here. No, no, it's just sprinkling, really. This is very strange for me. Very strange. We knew you were in Toronto. But well, to be honest, it was my wife who wanted to contact you. I, I thought it would be better to not see you. It's very strange. You look so different. I do? Your hair, even the way you stand. Our girl, she was an early bloomer. Always slouched. Your accent is different too. I understand, you know, my wife, she thinks our daughter is still alive, but I, I know. I would better go. I knew I wouldn't remember you, but I was hoping when you walked by that I would know you somehow. But you don't. No, my dad, I guess you know him, he died in the accident. Yes. Sometimes I think if he were alive, he would just look into my eyes and know who was in here. What will you tell your wife? I'll tell her. I'll tell her I looked into your eyes and I didn't see my daughter. 